Hello dear traders, Petr Cimovic here. Um, just a quick update um, on the British pound versus US dollar, uh, which I actually spoke yesterday about that we may see a topping action and uh, that's exactly what happened on this um, uh, currency pair. What actually happened in this point here and I marked this may be a top, uh, topping action building here and we will go on the future chart. Um, but what I marked you here is basically that this strong, um, let's say this uh, upward movement on the, um, after the uh, GDP uh, surprise uh, forecast was actually, as I said, and as I warned you, it, is, it, was, it was a just temporal um, reaction from the crowd. Now, as you know, or may you, you know, as you know, the market makers basically live from this crowd behavior and this um, uninformed traders because they're waiting for this kind of opportunities to happen and that they can uh, use this kind of uh, volatility and liquidity to trap you um, and to trap the uninformed traders. Uh, how they did that? Very simple. Um, you know, the news came in, GDP uh, expectation. Um, was uh, higher and that's a surprising factor which uh, basically uh, buyers saw like a good opportunity to buy. Now if you bought and closed in, in 30 minutes hour or two hours that was fine if you closed at the end of the day but for many 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 traders expecting that still the price can go higher and that uh, you know they hold overnight positions uh, you know and um, you know they carry positions and think that uh, this uh, news will turn pound to be bullish and that's probably not gonna happen since uh, we have a strong weakness in the background from past weeks and we still um, you know the weakness appears on the up bars and this is exactly what happened and I marked you that this for example watching the profile this is se session separated market profile and we saw that there is a lot of anomalies in this upward movement, which actually represents uh, already weakness for itself. And um, what happened in the overnight session, uh, they just tried to catch some stop loss orders for the traders who placed a tiny stop loss orders, a um, few pips above the uh, recent highs or yesterday highs. And they basically did trap them and then uh, strong downward movement today and uh, we still can see a uh, potential downward movement. Don't forget that uh, point of control from this um, uh, basically session we have a this was a double distribution day but in, you know in terms of um, anomalies we have a lot of anomalies uh, below and so on um, you know here uh, watching the market profile. Now checking what happened on the pivot point uh, perspective, uh, basically price tried to reach resistance one today and created a triple top, uh, let's say formation, uh, and then price went, uh, entered in the pivot zone, uh, traded below the pivot, uh, and uh, I'm expecting the price, this may be the range of the day and price may close like this and maybe even test support one, 1.360. Um, it's also probable and if we got uh, very very uh, you know uh, big sell orders we may even see there some extension today and 1.3060 or something because um, um, you know uh, if we see absorption of this uh, demand in the background and if the smart money and inform informed traders decide to absorb <clears throat> to, from these buyers then um, you, we can see uh, some something above average, average daily range day. Now back to the future chart. Uh, this is what I marked yesterday. If you, I remember, I marked this that this may be a potential bottoming, and uh, the reason is we saw that there is a no demand bars. This is the no demand bar followed by a few uptrust bars. This is already big sign of the weakness. Now overnight session basically was very. Uh, tiny range here price just tried to go above and then fell and then right now what we see here is strong supply enter the market we can see basically that we have a 9.4 contract traded for example in this bar and generally um, this is a very high because if you check in the background 9 point you know almost 10k this is the the same amount of contracts basically if you compare from the yesterday some of the largest yesterday volume activities um, after the news event. 
So there is a lot of sellers interested here, but potential we may see absorption of this. Uh, let, I call this a fake upward moment or, or let's say crowd um, uh, extended move uh, and news news movement basically. Um, we can see, for example, right now, this is a 30 minute time frame, the future chart. We see that there, there is a decreasing in the volume of the upward lag. We see the no demand, also followed by supply enter the market. Interesting here to notice is basically if you go to the daily time frame, you can see a very interesting thing that we have a more contract traded uh, than uh, ready uh, than comparing to the previous day. And this is how basically they trap you. I see the number of contracts almost 150K, and it's actually above the 150K. And yesterday, at the end of the day, we traded 92 point something, let's say 93 contracts. 93, uh, pardon, 1,000 uh, contracts. Um, and we already have on this supply larger, uh, more number of contracts traded. So you see, the smart money is active right now today. And uh, in my opinion, they can decide to absorb this and uh, potentially absorb all of this fake upward moment, in my opinion. And I warned you about this. Um, this might happen, uh, but, you know, don't be surprised if you see downward today and potential absorption of this, uh, of this uh, activity here. And uh, as I said, it's so much important to you basically and understand the behavior and understand the activity to read activity and then um, to understand the profile statistical approach and to have the real expectation and the, always to watch realistically what's um, what's happening um, what's happening on the market so you know um, we see the price trying to try this for people support one we we know here there's a lot of anomalies here in this upward uh, this was on um, Europe session um, here so we naturally may expect um, the price to retest that area and then um, sooner or later absorb all of this upward moment and then start even the larger selling uh, blocks of sell orders in the future. So that was a update I wanted to share with you. And I hope that you got some pips or if you day trader, you probably, you was, um, you are short, um, you know. And as I told you, I'm still holding uh, as a, I'm still holding short from 1.3500 and my target is basically near 1.2800 and 1.2. 900 area zone and um, you know this is my position trading um, and I'm still uh, very bearish in the pound uh, next week we got some great decision and so on but I'm not afraid since as long as I don't see the some sign of the strengths are building and some something crucial happening in the market I will hold my position once I see that something crucial happening I will exit my positions or scale or exit full position depend on what I see on the market. That will be all for this update. If you like my video, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, also feel free to comment. And uh, if you want to join my mentorship program, it doesn't matter if that's a day trading uh, course, uh, mentorship program or a position trading, swing trading uh, mentorship program, you can join. Um, you can contact me by Skype. I will put my Skype username in the description of the video and we can speak more about um, uh, the program. I can tell you more details about the program. That's it for now. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Trade safe and bye-bye.